you guys. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm just waiting to see that like, Gloria and Priscilla are trying to join. Let's see here. Okay. View request. Go live. Hi. Priscilla, Ben. Yeah. Oh my God. Hello, hola, hola, hola. Hola, how are you? Good. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Where's ¿Cómo Cristina? Está muy bien. Um, I'm trying to let her in, but you know, it's not. I don't know. I don't see her yet. How are you? Where are you? I'm so good. I'm in my offices. I have offices in Playa Vista. I'm all glam because I'm going to the Impact Awards this evening. After oh this. Oh my God! Congratulations. Um, I'm giving an award. I'm not getting an award tonight. That's I'm still tight. An award, but how are you? I haven't seen you. Well, I guess I saw you briefly a few months ago. I feel like yes. I mean, but it's been it's been a while. It's been, it's I haven't gotten to sit with you proper. Yeah, um, that's true. I mean, it's you know sometimes you you lose track of time with the whole COVID thing. Yes. Uh, um, Priscilla, send, sorry, Priscilla, you have to send a request. You have to do I'm, the little ad. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know that I can do. Mm -hmm. I think you can. Okay. We're trying to let Priscilla in, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Shortly, we will be talking all about the show, everyone. So just kind of come in, gather around. These things are chaotic, you know, but it's chaotic. It no, every time I've tried to do one of these, it's kind of a disaster, but we yeah. finally get to it. So just, you know, get a little cafecito or make yourself a cocktail. I don't know where you are in the world. Yeah. Um, and yeah. know that we're going to uh, be talking shortly about this beautiful show and these incredible artists. Yes. Um, yeah. I, um, what award are you presenting? I'm presenting um, Best Sitcom Actress. Oh. Yeah. So okay. that'll, be a fun, that'll be a fun one. Um, I don't even know who's, who's up. Who's up? It's, it's actually, it's already been decided. So it's, ha it's, it's, you know. Nova Scotia, Canada. This is exciting to see where people are from. Oh my God, yes. Brazil. Okay. I love Brazil. Brazil is always so supportive. <gasps> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hi, Gloria. You did it. Hello. Qué nice guapa. Thank you. How are you? How are you both? Okay, this is exciting. You guys, we're doing it. Okay, four oh nine. Ahora estamos. I have to go four thirty, but we're gonna have twenty minutes of really great conversation about this yeah. beautiful show. I'm only two in. I'm behind because we've been finishing our season of With Love. Um, but I love the show. I love the yes, show so much. Yeah, it's good. It's what? so good. It's so warm. It's so funny. Uh, I love, I mean, I loved the movie as well. And so it was so nice that this was like an homage to that, but its own thing. And yeah. there's a lot of Latinidad in this show. Yes. Um, yeah, and I think that it's presented in the way that, you know, is is healthy and, like, uh, reflective of, you know, what was going on back then. I mean, um, you know, Priscilla plays a Cuban character, and, you know, according to the internet, there were only ever 11 Latina players in the in the All-American All Girls League, which I find, like, super suspicious as a number. You know, I'm just like, yeah, right. There, there, was, there had to be so many more. But... Um, and there were only two Mexican American players. Wow. Um, yeah, totally. Eleven ever Latina players in the league. And so like, it's four oh. Cubans, only four Cubans. It was it was so interesting because, you know, you know about the spring tryouts back in La Habana, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First league went went to went to Cuba to the first idea was to expand the league through Latin America. 
um, it was like a business thing that that ended up not happening. But um, but it was such a great opportunity for Cuban people, for Cuban girls, um, to just try out and 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 you know be elected. Yeah. And that's that's what happened to actually Bestie and 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 we never talk about this, Roberta, right? But my my character, I I I think it's it, it's inspired um, by Isabel Lefty Alvarez, that was an incredible um, Cuban player, was one of the Cuban players at the week, and and yeah, she in there's a beautiful beautiful biography book that she where she tells all her story and how 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 brave she was and and how how interesting all the story was right. And and I say like you know so the part of the thing about our characters in the show is that we get to play as as you know Latin women who identify as Latin women we get to play exclusively because we're white passing, you know which was kind of the deal very not even unspoken it was like the the very you know clear deal if you looked white then you could play if not bi, and so this is why I'm kind of like when the, when the statistics say like there were only ever 11 Latin players in 11 years that this league existed. I'm like, there's no way that's true. But then you have to think about like the context, the historical context of the time. It was the forties. Mm. And you think like, Oh, right. The biggest Hollywood actress at the time was a woman named Margarita uh, Carmen Cancino. Right. And like, you know, but we didn't know her like that, you know, like, right. it, you know, and so like, you know, she had to do so much to, 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 to change who she was to be palatable for people, you know, and so I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she had to get rid of her, she had to electrolysis her widow's peak. Because oh, she had God. a little, Rita, yeah, she had a widow's peak, Rita yeah. Hayworth. We're talking yeah. for, for those that don't know, that's Rita Hayworth. We're talking about Rita these, Hayworth. Yeah, a lot of these Latinas had to come here and and anglicize their names. I mean, by the way, that's still happening. I mean, oh, you know, still Oscar Isaac Estrada goes by Oscar Isaac. Just I. Yeah. Like we're still we're still having to do it in order to um, be palatable to this um, to this American audience specifically because we are still global ma majority. You know, here we are mi minority, but oh, people of color are global majority, and so. It's one of the many reasons why I love, I mean, I love any time that we are historically writing a wrong. And yeah. I think that's what both of your characters represent on this show is yeah. giving voice to, to what was really voiceless um, in the movie. And, and I, I think you guys do a wonderful job of, and are so funny, um, your, your character specifically, the, the interactions that you have and when you're so excited to be speaking to somebody who's, who understands you finally. And, You know, it's so it's so tender and sweet, and I yeah. really I found it so beautiful. How did you guys come to the show? Did you do that? Um, well, my my audition was a audition completely in Spanish, and wow, I said great, great. It, it was I was just like I was just landing landing in the states, um, and I just received this this this. this dialogue and I was okay interesting and I said okay that's great it's gonna be in Spanish um, and I just I just just I don't know how I ended up there but but I did in and you know as soon as I knew that that I was gonna have a such an incredible support um in the show Roberta mm -hmm. um, I just floated from relief happiness and and just um, love honestly she was such a important part not in the not on the in the show she's just like a bitch with me but, <laughs> but um roberta roberta has guided me through for the path has helped me and 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 you know it's it's really it's really big when when when, when it comes at first especially when when you're traveling all the way from the other part of the world so so yeah it it just came Yeah. Um, for me, it was, uh, I was at a, I was at a party, um, it, here in New York and I, I was there and Abby Jacobson's mom was there and she just came up to me and was just like, you know, I think Abby's got a show in mind for you. <laughs> and that's how I found that. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. I love that it was her mom. Should I start taking my mom to events to get, I know. do my stuff? Just like, she's Is that the trick? 
Yeah, just get, you know, count on a mom to be like, she's Mando at a party. Oh you know? my God, I love it. I yeah. love it. Uh, uh, so I want to, I want to know more. Like when you, so when you get this role, what like such dream role, so so beautiful and visible on the show. What type of research do you do as actors, and what kind of interaction were you having with the creators? The wonderful Will Graham is the is the showrunner of this show, and you know Michelle Badillo, who I is basically my child, um, is <laughs> one of the fabulous writers amongst many wonderful writers. Yeah. What was what? How did that work? Once once you book it, and once you're getting scripts, and once you're going through it, what are the next steps for you as actors to really take this on and and do justice by these beautiful characters? Well, Will and Will and Desta called you know us, and and we had conversations about what we had, what you know kinds of ideas that we had for our characters, what ideas they had for our characters, and so. I know that for me, I was able to early on be like, look, we have to talk, you know, if we're talking accurately, historically, I, I, you know, I, I, wanna, I, want, I wanna actually give, um, you know, life to people who had a struggle about, with their identity. Now I wanna, I'm as a, a super proud Latin woman, I can, you know, I'll, I love playing Latin people, but back then it was a survival mechanism mm. to not identify as Latin. And I wanted to do that with this character and and be able to defend it through her eyes which was it's complicated to play but it's also like that's why we do this stuff you know Absolutely. yeah yeah i i think we we all have the chance to create our characters of course with a lot of information and and, and background um but but they really sat sat down with us and starting asking questions about about ourselves because um, apparently, we're kind of similar to our characters, all, 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 all the actresses. And that was... That all was the actresses? Awesome. Is that true? I mean, mm, kind of. That, I mean, I mean, you, you have to know that every character has a little essence from Sure, it. of course, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I was really, what I say always, I was really going through a very similar, um, you know, journey as as SD and 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 they knew it and they 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 really took advantage advantage and 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 y tiramos para adelante. <laughs> I love that. I love that yeah. so much. I mean it's so important, you know, this year I talk about this a lot but as we're entering Hispanic Heritage Month and talking about Latinidad and I think people have an interest for this month. <laughs> they're like, "All right." You know, yep. and so it's how do we have like I think what's so important about shows like this, um, not only being entertaining and fun and sexy and uh, showing proper representation of not just the Latino community, but of many, uh, you know, communities of queer community, obviously, and, and just having great roles for women, which is still so rare. Um, it's it's really the, it's how we, you know, how we are able to have this type of show exist year round to have these conversations about the importance of these types of characters for especially for our young people i think yeah because if we're having them year round then eventually we don't have to dedicate one symbolic month to this stuff you know and then we can just right. go on with our lives and be who we are just like everyone Correct. else you know what i'm saying i think that that's <laughs> that's what sorry Gloria. no you go mama you go this is i mean this is really the, 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 the joy of, of our work. You know how how much how many messages I've received from Latin people telling me, thank you so much. I I, I felt inspired. I, I there was there, there was this man that, that 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 sent me a lot of pictures from from his grandfather that was a a a, a Cuba a Puerto Rican baseball player back in the back in the league and started sending me uh, his his empanadas photos of his empanadas and his his dishes his Puerto Rican dishes. I've received so much love and 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 just the the, the fact that that people are, are 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 being just like so cultivada and 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 happy and inspired and specially represented. I think that's what we 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 live for as and as as people who who act and and want to tell stories. So um, I think it's just a blessing. Yes, I just want to say, like, about yeah. Latin people all, all, all time, not just in, uh, in Latin. Um, 
11 months. Well, but it's it's cool. Like I, I'm like looking at these comments right now, and I keep being like, keep seeing like hola desde Argentina, hola desde Colombia, de Brasil, de, you know. And it's just like yes, man. See, everyone watches everything. You don't have to make stuff, you know, that's for certain people. You know, like everything is for everyone, or it should be, and it should include everyone. And and that's just I'm I'm loving these comments. Just you I know just that I, it's that segues perfectly into my next question, which was. What is it like? Like, I, for me, what's really exciting about being on Amazon is this global audience, right? Like, it does feel like we get to have, we have this great benefit of being able to speak globally to people. Yes. And so what has that been like to be able to, when you, when this show premiered, it's in 200 countries. So like, like the impact of that and the, and what you've received, like, can you talk a little bit about that? You know, I, this this is something that I I, I do want to, you know, just mention. My manager and I um, realized that no actor who is bilingual has really ever been reached out, has ever been given right of first refusal to do their own dubbing. And so, and so my character, who and Priscilla's character, who are bilingual in the show, mostly mine, I guess. But you know, it, it, I was like, you know, my manager was sitting there thinking like. Okay, so you're gonna hear your voice in the Spanish in the Spanish markets. You're gonna hear you speaking Spanish, and then another person, another actor, doing your English. She was like, "Why shouldn't it, it should just be you?" And so then I, you know, then we started this process of getting it to be like, "I'm gonna do my own dubbing for the Spanish markets," which is another way of me, like, you know, working in Spanish markets, which felt really like important, and and it felt like some like some milestone in my career to actually be like, oh yeah, I, I, I worked in Mexico and I did some of the dubbing actually in Mexico City. So it's just like, yes, that, that is a facet of ourselves as artists that has been like literally untapped this entire time. And now it's, I, I hope that it becomes a trend that people do their own dubbing because it's important, you know? That's so cool. Yeah. Did you do your own dubbing, Priscilla? I did, I, I requested it. And when I was in the room, someone told me Roberta did too. And that was such a, good thing to know and I feel very happy and that's like that was my manager's idea my manager's a you know really? eight year old white woman and it, it was her that was like, you should be hearing your voice you know like she's you know just as much of an ally to Hispanidad as like anyone else you know so I think a lot that's of people incredibly so incredibly cool yeah. so we have we have a few more minutes and so I'd like to also talk about um just okay so there's they, they gave me some questions so let's discuss some of these questions so uh, what can we learn about the Mexican-American Barrio Leagues in California and other parts of the U.S.? I don't know a lot about this, so share that with me. Well, so baseball, being the American sport, was actually super segregated, like everything in America. And so and in every kind of ethnic community across America, they had, like, community leagues. And so for Latinos, they, they call them often Barrio Leagues. So the ones in California, like, they were sponsored by, like, their churches or by small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, and they would cover the cost of like equipment and, you know, and uniforms and stuff like that. And it was just, you know, and, and, and people were playing baseball. Women were playing baseball. And so, you know, it's baseball being the American pastime. It's, it's interesting that it, it that people were still doing it even when they were told they weren't allowed to. They found ways to do it in the barrio leagues and, you know, in the different leagues across America. And it's just, I mean, one of the players, Marge Villa. Mexican American, one of the two Mexican American players in the league. I mean, she came from a she came from a barrio team, you know, and then and then was drafted at 16 years old. She started playing for the All American Girls. Wow, 16 years old. Um, wow. You know, and they were like, you know, and these girls were like playing like like a regular season of baseball, you know, for the the barrio teams, and they had you know you know they had fame within their own within their own communities, and then you know. Only two of the Mexican American chicks got to play in the in the All American Girls, but you know it's still there were legends. You know they were legends in their own communities. That's really incredible. Yeah. Now, were, Roberto, was your character based on anyone? I don't think in anyone specifically, but but definitely like the the circumstance of being a Mexican American wanting to wanting to play baseball and wanting to you know be included in this like incredible moment in history and what it meant for someone like her to be able to play, what kinds of sacrifices she had to make, 
um, and 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 what it meant for her to just like be part of this team. Like, could she actually be part of her team, or did she have to just like, you know, what was her direct involvement in it? You know. Wow. Um, but yeah, I, I would. I don't think that specifically I was. I was framed after any one player. But the, sort of an homage to many many women yeah. that came through there. Yeah. What What were your favorite things to shoot? Uh -oh. Was there a scene? I was there a? I mean, we had so much fun. Like it was just like jo you know, just constant jokes. I mean, you can imagine like the whole cast. We all like love each other. Right? All we do is like play. You know, and then. Although it was, it was very hot and cold during the the shooting in general. Yeah. It was playing baseball. Like, and not... where, where did you guys shoot? Tell the people. So, so for those that don't know, somebody was asking about dubbing as well. So when a show like this goes global, depending on the country, some countries have subtitles and some countries have another actor that is doing the voice in the language of the country. Right. So they're saying that they were dubbing their own voice. So if it's in Spanish speaking countries, yeah. that what you're hearing is them in Spanish as opposed to an actor that was hired. So that's, yeah. that's the exciting uh, thing about this because every country has its own rules and every country has, um, you know, some countries prefer dubbing over, over subtitles on the bottom that you read over the American English. Um, so scenes. Yes. I want to hear, I want to hear you guys shot in Pittsburgh and, Respect of my dubbing mates, I recommend every 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 everyone in the world to watch in general content in 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 its original because it's 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 really you really catch the 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 atmosphere of of, of the show. Yeah. And yeah, it was we shoot um in Pittsburgh, so it was just crazy a crazy climate. It was crazy humidity and oh, the third no. rainiest city in America. So imagine. Oh. So we were, doing, wow. we were doing baseball in August in the third rainiest city in America. So it was a lot of just being in the trailer like, oh, no, we can't go outside because there's a lightning warning, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was it was bananas, but it was, you know, we were just like Very eating nice. together. You know? yeah. Amazing. And and uh, favorite scene to shoot or a one of if you can't pick? Favorite days? Yeah, it's what was one of your favorite things to shoot? I mean, I'm like, I mean, like, there was so much stuff. That, like, I guess the, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, the, the bar scenes with Rosie, those days that we were, you know, just having fun and, you know, playing around. But but the baseball, for me, like, being out there, and I, I just I just love that stuff. All the stuff. That, I mean, How like, basically everything, because it was just hanging out with friends, you know. How are you guys? Uh, that's probably the question you get the most. Are you guys good? For real? Yeah. Samantha's <laughs> like, yes. Priscilla's a little dangerous with a bat because she's just like, you know, walking around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it. I love it. Ladies, you were both so incredible. I can't wait to finish watching the show. I'm so obsessed with everything I've seen so far. It's just, I, I love all of it, but to see two Latinas uh, as part of the main cast crushing it and having their own storylines is obviously incredibly meaningful to see. And so thank you both so much for all of your hard work and dedication. And thank you, the whole cast of League of Their Own, because it's just awesome to see badass ladies at the center of the story. Thank you, Will Graham, the wonderful Will Graham. Thank you all so much for tuning into our, our IG takeover. We had a blast. We hope that you will check out A League of Their Own, now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. What a pro. Thank you, Gloria. Muchas gracias. Bye-bye. Well, please, Bye -bye. we can stay on. You want to you answer questions? Yo? Vamos. Oh, do it. Answer questions. Okay. Chao, Gloria. Yeah. Okay. Have fun Bye. tonight. Thank questions. you. Have fun. Okay, vamos a ver con las preguntas. Maybe, I mean, yo no sé si la gente ya de España estará conectada, pero hay una gran parte eh, de los que me siguen a mí que, es, que solo hablo. Okay. Questions. Spanish, English. We can do it both. Français, en français. En français, mais qu'il parle français aussi. Oui. Ok, a ver, une question. Venga, pregunta, question. Question. Ah. Season 2, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Ah, Espérate. Story. I literally have no words. A ver. ¿Cómo? ¿Tú sabes cómo hacer como de preguntas? Hacer una pregunta. Hola. 
como en los comentarios. Well, okay, let's just answer from. Hablar el italiano. No. Roberto, ¿cuándo venís a Argentina, boluda? ¿Cuándo venís? Te a acabo de estar en la Argentina, en enero. Es half Argentina. No sé, no, boludo, si no me vieron, no me vieron. Este, oh ya, yeah. ustedes saben que soy media argentina, mitad de Argentina. Mi mamá, que en paz descanse, era de San Juan, Argentina. Ole. 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 Eh, are you, are you really from Cuba? Eh, I, I was born in Puerto Rico and I was raised in Spain, but my grandfather was actually Cuban. And, you know, we had long talks about how Cuba was at that time. Um, how it was at that time. Where? Where? Sorry, my English. And, um, yeah. I have Cuban blood, kind of. Yeah, and then your tu, tu abuelo, no? Your grandfather? Yeah. Abuelito. Mm -hmm. Abuelito Sammy. Mm -hmm. Sammy. Um. Ya, fan art de y sus papás. Eh, estoy maravillada con, con el fan art de Ali of the Own. ¿Verdad, Roberta? ¿Qué, Yo no qué? Sé pendiente con el fan art. Oh, los... sí, lo veo, sí. Brutales. Sí, o sea, qué, qué talento. Tira tanto tiempo, increíble. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Esperan que pase con sus personajes en la segunda temporada. Sí. Eh, ¿Qué pasarán con los personajes? ¿Quién sabe? Porque no hemos tenido la oportunidad de hablar con, con los creadores del show para ver eh, cómo ve la historia. Ya saben que con la televisión eh, tienen que o sea, tienen que basar mucho las historias en lo que en lo que le interesa a la audiencia y, y más que todo en que este, fomenta el, 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 el show o sea, el, lo que valga más para el show A mí me gustaría muchísimo que, que primero que hubiese una segunda temporada y, y que la oportunidad de seguir desarrollando los personajes, pero estaría súper bien, ¿verdad, Roberta? Que nos llevasen a La Habana un ratillo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya no. Porque saben ustedes, one thing we didn't talk about, eh, para todos ustedes, es uh, el entrenamiento de, en la primavera, que era en Cuba, pero también hacían el postseason, they had, they had spring training camp en La Habana, and then the postseason was also en La Habana, and then they also went to like Panamá, they went to Venezuela. I Tour por El Salvador, Nicaragua. Eso es lo bonito también, que, el, que de verdad el béisbol cambió el, la vida en todos los sentidos de estas mujeres. No solamente les dio la oportunidad de, de darles voz, eh, expresarse en, en sus máximos esplendores, sino, sino luego, después de que se acabase la liga, muchísimas mujeres cogieron ese dinero para luego ir a college y meter uh -huh. a college. O sea, que fue, fue una bendición con toda sí. la gente. Do you play for real? No. Uh, no actually play for real. Really. I mean, sí, 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 sí. Pero en, as, as... in our personal lives, no. 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 Quiero mucho conocer a la mamá de este. <laughs> Mira, la mamá de este. La mamá de 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 la mamá. Hay muchas especulaciones con los padres de este, ¿eh? Sí. No quiero decir nada. He escuchado también unos rumores por ahí. Eh, bueno, también pidió acento español. Tu acento español. Uh, good day from Australia. Hello. Who's the best player? We won't say. Um, uh, para una temporada, me too. A ver, preguntas, preguntas. Este, ¿Qué podemos decir? Venga. Venga. You guys should do life more. Thank you guys for waiting because we were going to do the live like, I don't know when, like a month ago, but we couldn't because Roberta was just enjoying I was I was kind of sick. Yeah. But we, we did it for you all. Este... Your mechanics look very good. Oh, wow. Uh, fan conventions. Eso no sé mucho de, de lo del fan conventions. I mean, it'd be dope, you know, if we got invited to do some stuff, like I'm sure the cast would all, you know, be, a convention sounds really fun, you know. Right. Bueno, yo creo que ya, ya no veo más preguntas, ¿verdad? No. 
Do you think that would be a theater kid? <laughs> yes, the funniest mo behind the scenes moments, you can leave everything to Kate Berlant for that one. Eso nomás que gustado grabar en a las dos. Eso ya lo hicimos. Um, ok, bueno, creo que ya no estoy viendo como preguntas, más comentarios. Okay. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for all the love. Gracias, Roberta. Sí, sí, sí. Gracias a todos por venir. Uh, and yeah, I hope you you you're still enjoying the show and and you know. Yeah, keep watching the show because as you know, we gotta get a second season. And the only way that they'll know that you want one is to keep watching it. Just put it on the, the computer. Go out, buy your groceries, come back. You know. Top three. U.S. shows, top one, three, three consecutive weeks. That's, That's right. It. That's right. Stand up. Okay, guys. Thank yeah. you so much for the love. Um, thank you. Com continue to watch it. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Yeah. Gracias, gracias. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao, Priscilla.